In today's ever-evolving digital landscape, the threat of malicious software, or malware, continuously hovers over us. As guardians of this vast realm, we are engaged in an unyielding battle to bypass cyber threats. Open source tools for malware analysis have emerged as our invaluable allies in this grand chessboard of cybersecurity. These digital gatekeepers, shaped by the collective wisdom of global developers and users, empower us to dissect malware, decipher its intricate workings, and establish robust defenses. Let's embark on a journey to explore top 10 of these guardian tools, each offering a unique perspective on malware analysis and strengthening our ability to counter these cyber threats. The information provided in this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. The use of open source tools for malware analysis should be carried out responsibly and within the bounds of applicable laws and regulations. Any actions taken using these tools should only be on systems and networks you own or have explicit permission to test. We are not responsible for any misuse or unlawful activities resulting from the knowledge and tools discussed in this video. Before start please subscribe to our channel. To ensure that you would not miss our upcoming videos, which have ethical hacking and penetration testing full tutorials, we are also discuss about Kali Linux tools and how to use them. Number 1. Cuckoo Sandbox Cuckoo Sandbox is one of the most popular open source malware analysis tools on the market. The tool is handy as it works automatically to study the behavior of malware. Simply input the suspected malware file into Cuckoo, and it will provide a highly detailed report of the file's behavior. Cuckoo Sandbox is a free tool, which makes it popular, and it can identify malicious software even if, it is the first time it has infected a device. The package has many other functions, such as network traffic analysis and it can be automated to provide constant monitoring. The platform opens the file in a controlled but realistic environment. This is key as some stealthy forms of malware have been known to evade detection by not executing if a sandbox environment is detected. In addition, unlike other malware analysis tools, Cuckoo Sandbox is easier to use, especially for those who are new to cybersecurity. It allows users to customize their sandbox environment and test files in Windows, Linux, Mac, and Android virtual environments. Behind the scenes, API calls, DNS requests, registry changes, and network traffic are all recorded and automatically analyzed for reporting. The tool generates very detailed but not overwhelming reports, allowing non-technical users to understand the details without neglecting key data points. Number 2. IDA Pro IDA Pro is one of the more advanced malware analysis tools geared toward cybersecurity professionals. The tool is an interactive disassembler and debugger that allows researchers to take apart potential malware files for manual analysis manually. It is a reverse engineering tool. It can scan compiled programs and decompiles them. This process involves running the program and then looking at the actions performed by the chip, such as the movement of numbers in and out of registers. These actions can then be described by assembler instructions, which is the language into which programs are compiled. It is highly visual and cleanly displays the binary instructions executed by the processor in assembly language. The platform can also generate assembly language source code from machine code to make the malware analysis processor easier for humans to read and less complex. It can debug multiple targets and supports remote applications that span across multiple platforms on the debugging side. The debugger is highly flexible and supports 64-bit systems as well as numerous integration possibilities. The platform runs on an open plugin architecture, meaning its functionality is easily extended via pre-built plugins or through the SDK for registered users. Number 3. CrowdStrike Falcon Insight, it is an extended detection and response EDR solution that draws activity data from endpoints and analyzes those records for signs of malware and intruders. The CrowdStrike Insight system performs analysis at two levels, on the endpoint and on the cloud. CrowdStrike Falcon Insight creates a private threat intelligence network and also contributes to a global malware database. The Falcon system relies on a local antivirus system that needs to be installed on each endpoint. This combats malware and also uploads activity data to a central threat analysis unit in the cloud. Each protected endpoint needs a software package installed on it. This is also available as a standalone product, called Falcon Prevent and it is a next-generation antivirus system. Falcon Prevent is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. The tool is an anomaly-based detection system. This means that it gathers activity data and derives a record of standard activity. This is a machine learning process that constantly adjusts the assessment of the activity baseline. Many cybersecurity tools now use this technique, which is called user and entity behavior analytics. Behavioral outliers are flagged for investigation. 
The Falcon Prevent Unit ensures that protection continues even when the device is disconnected from the network and the it cannot communicate with the Insight system in the cloud. Falcon Insight gathers activity data from all protected endpoints, giving it a global view of your system. The Insight system performs threat hunting on a pool of endpoint activity data and also gets a feed of indicators of compromise from the CrowdStrike research team. The cloud-based malware analyzer sends instructions to endpoints when it identifies an attack. This blocks analysis the lateral movement of malware by creating a private threat intelligence feed. Number 4, PE Studio, this is an excellent tool for conducting an initial triage of a malware sample and allows me to quickly pull out any suspicious artifacts. Once a binary has been loaded it will quickly provide the user with hashes of the malware and any detections found in virus total. A list of strings is also pulled however if the sample is packed this may not return any strong IOC, unpacking the sample, and then reviewing the strings will often provide useful information such as malicious domains and IP addresses. This helps identify whether the malware is packed or not. When a sample is packed this means the malware author has effectively put a layer of code around the malware in order to unclear its true functionality and prevent analysis of the malware. To assist with identifying packed malware PE Studio displays the level of entropy of the file. Entropy is measured on a scale of 0 to 8, with 8 being the highest level of entropy. The higher the entropy the more likely that a piece of malware is packed. Another useful section is the Imports tab, this contains functionality that is imported into the malware so it can perform certain tasks. For example, Windows contains various libraries called DLL, this stands for Dynamic Link Library. Each library contains a unique set of functions known as Windows API, these are used by legitimate programs to perform various functions. This can be used by a piece of software to create a new running process. However, malware will use the same methodology to import its own functionality. By looking at the imports a malware analyst may be able to predict the potential behavior of the malware. Number 5, Process Hacker. Process Hacker allows a malware analyst to see what processes are running on a device. This can be useful when detonating a piece of malware to see what new processes are created by the malware and where these are being run from on disk. Malware will often try to hide by copying itself to a new location and then renaming itself, Process Hacker will display this activity occurring making it easy to identify how the malware is attempting to hide. This tool is also useful for pulling information from the memory of a process. This means that if a piece of malware is detonated then Process Hacker can be used to inspect the memory for strings, the strings found in memory will often return useful information such as IP addresses, domains, and user agents that are being used by the malware. Number 6, Virus Total. VirusTotal has one of the largest repositories of malware samples of any online tool, making it essential for anyone analyzing malware. VirusTotal allows users to upload samples, scan suspicious URL, and perform manual searches. VirusTotal is one of the scans included in the hybrid analysis scan. This is an online service. You either drag a file over or use the file selector feature on the site to get a scan. You do not need to enter any personal details to get a free scan. The platform is one of the more user-friendly tools, making it more popular among casual users who want to scan their files for malware. This in turn, makes VirusTotal even more powerful, as it records, catalogs, and categorizes every malware sample sent to its system. VirusTotal provides swift analysis paired with basic high-level details of the type of malware discovered for users looking to determine if a file is infected quickly. The search function is easy to use and allows researchers to search by URL, IP address, domains, or file hashes. VirusTotal may have more threat signatures recorded to compare against your file. Number 7, Wireshark, chances that you are already know about Wireshark. If not, here is a quick rundown. Wireshark is one of the most popular tools for capturing and analyzing network traffic. In addition, the tool allows for deep packet inspection, a result that is vital for advanced network troubleshooting and uncovering stealthy malware activity. Wireshark uses the PCAP system to collect packets. The tool has its own search and filtering language so you can reduce the volume of captured packets for analysis and the same language can be used to analyze packets. This is a free tool. It is available for Windows, Mac and Linux operating systems. Network traffic can be recorded, filtered, and sorted through to understand how malware impacts network traffic and interacts with firewalls. In addition, it can uncover multiple protocol layers supports numerous integration into other malware analysis tools. Number 8, G-Hydra. G-Hydra is a powerful open-source software reverse engineering framework developed by the National Security Agency. It provides a comprehensive suite of tools for analyzing binary executables, making it invaluable for malware analysis and cybersecurity research.
G-Hydra offers a user-friendly interface along with a wide range of features, including disassembly, decompilation, scripting, and debugging capabilities. Its interactive disassembler enables users to navigate through complex code structures, understand assembly instructions, and analyze program behavior. Additionally, its decompiler translates low-level assembly code into a more readable high-level language, aiding in understanding program logic and identifying malicious intent. Its support for scripting languages like Python enhances customization and automation of analysis tasks. With its robust feature set and active community support, it has become a go-to tool for both new and experienced analysts in the field of malware analysis and reverse engineering. Number 9. Fiddler is a powerful web debugging proxy tool commonly employed in malware analysis due to its capability to intercept, inspect, and modify network traffic between a computer and the internet. It acts as a middleman between the web browser and the server, allowing analysts to monitor network activity in real time and analyze the communication between the malware and its command and control servers or other malicious domains. Fiddler provides a user-friendly interface that displays detailed information about each HTTP request and response including headers, cookies, parameters, and payloads. This visibility enables analysts to identify suspicious behavior, such as unusual network connections, data exfiltration, or malicious payloads being delivered over internet. Furthermore, Fiddler offers features for manipulating and tampering with web traffic, which can aid in simulating different network conditions or bypassing certain security mechanisms to better understand the malware's behavior. Number 10, Process Monitor, Process Monitor is a tool developed by Windows to allow additional insight into processes and the file system in real time. You can think of this as a much more detailed version of Task Manager. However, since the interface is so familiar, the tool is excellent for those new to malware analysis. Process Monitor is mercifully quick and it can be a lifesaver if you are waiting for some other long-running forensic analysis tool, such as PE Studio, to finish. This tool is a base for digital forensics, analysts, and it is free to use, which makes it a much-loved tool by cybersecurity consultancy managers as well. Process Monitor allows you to track down what created each process and comes with several filters that will enable you to see the child and parent relationship between an executable easily. When malicious files such as Word documents detonate, they often launch scripts or open ports stealthily in the background. This makes it easy to see this activity in real time and through recorded analysis in CSV format. While Process Monitor did not allow you to pick apart a binary, it will quickly highlight suspicious activity and enable you to investigate deeper into a situation. It is a Windows tool and is available for free. Conclusion, in our ever-evolving digital world, the persistent threat of cyber attacks casts a shadow over our technological progress. The necessity for robust, versatile, and comprehensive malware analysis tools has never been more vital. Open source tools like we are discussing in this video provide powerful platforms for identifying, classifying, and understand malware, thereby strengthening our defenses. These tools bring unique capabilities to the table. However, harnessing the full potential of these tools requires a deep understanding of their functionalities and seamless integration within your cybersecurity environment. Thanks for watching this video, make sure like, share and comment down below, see you in the next one.